Okay, I'm going to remind you who I am. I'm Ron Bannon, and my email address is Bannon, B is in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. All right, this is the 11th problem, and I think we're at the point where I'm not going to say the problems are easy to do. They're not. They're kind of, they're, they're challenging. And what I'm going to do is look at this problem over here, and I see these factorial things, and I'm going to say this has something to do with e to the x, all right? So I just want to review that with you. e to the x is, is uh, it's, a, it's a famous series, one that you probably should, um, I'm not going to say memorize, but recognize. Over time, though, you'll probably uh, not only recognize it, but memorize it, all right? So this, this is, um, and there's ways to derive them too, by the way. But right now, it, it's a series, all right? So, you know, I put down e to the 1, right? So what does that mean? X is 1. So let me point out what I mean by that. You should know this series over here. And, and not only knowing that series, you, could, you should be able to plug in. It's true for all real number X. So any X gets fine. You put 1 in. You get this series over here. And then I put e to the minus 1 in, all right? And what's nice about that is it, it alternates back and forth, all right? So I put a in e to the minus 1. Whoops, I did it again. So again, what I'm, putting, I'm just plugging in minus 1 over here. So what did you get? 1 minus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial minus 1 over 3 factorial, yada, yada, yada. All right, I'm going to start to erase things. And I want you to focus on two things. And I'll point this out to you. And by the way, this is not easy. I just want you to focus on this and this. And then what I want you to do is just look at it and see it's related to the original series they gave us in some way, all right? So what I'm going to do is write this down. I'm going to write down e minus e to the minus 1. Well, if I did that, what are you going to get? 1 minus 1 is none. 1 minus a minus 1 is uh, going to be 2. 1 over 2 factorial minus 1 over 2 factorial, gone. Then I could get 2, right? I write that down. Plus 2 over 3 factorial, right? Don't worry yet, all right? Then what are you going to do next? This minus this, nothing. I think you get an impression over here what's happening over here. So I'm going to write the next one down without writing all every possible, you know, term down and combination what I'm doing over here. What's next going to be 2. You know, I should probably put over here what this one is going to be. So it would be what? Uh, 1 factorial, 3 factorial, 5 factorial, 7 factorial. I think you get the idea. There's a pattern there. If you need to expand these out, though, please do so to see that. That's fine, by the way. Is that what I wanted? No, it's not what I wanted, but I'm close. What I got to do is divide by 2. So I'm write that down for you. E minus e to the minus 1 over 2 is equal to 1. That's that guy. And then what's going to get? It's going to be plus 1 over 3 factorial, plus 1 over 5 factorial, plus 1 over 7 factorial. If you want, you can still write the 1 factorial if there you want. So what I want to do is go back and see if that's what they wanted. I'm going to look at it. And did I get that? Yeah. It's, um, again, the 1 over 1 factorial is 1, 1 over 3 factorial. Yeah. So this is the result of it right here. Tricky, tricky, right? And let's see if we got that and see if they got that. They did. It's right over here. Certainly converges, right? Is that what their question was? Yeah, we know what the number is, too. It converges to that number. By the way, I realize you're doing something a little strange over here. I'll go through that with you. This is e over 2 minus 1 over 2e. Common number would be 2a, 2e. What do you get there? e squared minus 2. I'm sorry, minus 1. All right, but it's convergent, all right? It's convergent series. Thank you.